Hello and welcome to January's uh, Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, as always, as you know, uh, I keep you up to date on what is happening in the diabetes technology world over the last month, and this includes commercial launch of Tandem's Control IQ, Dexcom Data Partnership with Livongo, progress with Smart Pen System from Bigfoot, and a lot more. So let's start with commercial launch of Tandem's Control IQ algorithm, which is Tandem's advanced hybrid closed loop system, which is not the easiest thing to say, uh, which is Tandem's give me more insulin when high and a correction bolus and give me less insulin when low system. So this time last month I was telling you how it was just approved by the American FDA. Well, one month later it is already available and a lot of Tandem users are already using Control IQ. Um, uh, yeah, I know, software, right? Crazy. So like I discussed in last month's video, it's an advanced closed loop. So it has two methods of giving you extra insulin. It can either set a temporary basal rate or it can give you an automatic correction bolus. And it can do up to one bolus per hour and it will do 60% of your recommended bolus amount. Control IQ has two so-called activities. So it has sleep and exercise. And when you're in sleep mode, um, it will not do any um, automatic correction boluses. However, your uh, target glucose is much lower, so it's, it's, it's ensuring tighter control overnight. And the second one is called exercise, which aims to um, bring your glucose a little bit higher before exercise to avoid you going low during physical exercise. Control IQ available as a free software update to all in warranty um, T-Slim X2 insulin pump users in the US. If you have an inner warranty T-Slim X2 pump, um, you can go to your software update portal um, and um, start the process of upgrading. You obviously need a prescription from your doctor and to do that, you, there will be some links in the description if you want to check that out. And uh, Control IQ is also now um, built in with new tandem pumps that you get if you get a brand new pump in the US as well. Also for international um, tandem users, uh, approval of Control IQ in the US is actually really exciting and it has a real impact on the international rollout as well because tandem can now use the FDA approval paperwork and use it as a reference um, to submit Control IQ to other governing bodies all over the world. So, for example, they can use the certificate which says Control IQ is approved by the FDA and they can use that pe that certificate. I don't know if it's a f actual certificate. I'm, I'm, I'm pretending that it's an actual piece of paper. It's an electronic document, I would have assumed. But maybe they have a hard copy and then it can go to someone like Health Canada and I'm sure they do it's not a physical process. I'm just kind of showing you. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. But anyway, so that you can use the reference to submit it to other governing bodies, Europe, Australia, Canada, all the other places, and get Control IQ approved quickly. Now, some quick smart pen news. Uh, Bigfoot Biomedical uh, finished another round of financing for the uh, Unity Smart Pen system. This system integrates Abbott's Libre CGM with a smart pen. Speaking of Libre CGM, a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video about Freestyle Libre 2. Two, do you get it? Two, um, freestyle libre two. Um, everything you need to know about it. So uh, you know what it does, how it works, what's new, um, what I think about it, how it compares to other CGMs. Next, Dexcom news. Dexcom announced a partnership with Livongo um, at this year's JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. Their app will connect with Dexcom G6 CGM to provide in-depth data and key insights. And lastly, Diabits announced Endobits. So if you're unfamiliar with Diabits, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Um, Diabits is an iPhone or an Android app which predicts your blood glucose level 60 minutes in advance. It works with either your Dexcom or your Nightscout account. 
and I've personally used it myself like two years ago, maybe a year ago, um, for a couple of weeks, and then I stopped using it, and then I started using it again a couple of weeks ago, and um, I just love the alarms that it has because like it has this these like sassy, funny alarms. So like instead of high glucose value, you know, ten point five. It, it has some like it says things like um is this a plane or your blood glucose level like these like funny things like i'm gonna put some screenshots here and um the longer you use it the more it learns about you so the more more accurate the predictions get um so yeah um they announced a, a tool called endo bits which is the portal for endocrinologists to access your data and get your reports um, and to enable you to share it with them, um, you can put you can check information in the video description. So that's that. Two more quick things. First thing, another set of DQ&A questionnaires is coming in February or March. Uh, that kind of frame framework, depending on where you live in the world. Um, I've talked about DQ&A before. Um, they um, send out questionnaires to people with diabetes um, to collect information about uh, diabetes technology that's currently used, uh, drug therapy, healthcare systems and all of these things. All of the things that we have opinions on and they collect that feedback on scale and then they pass that on to companies so they can improve their products and kind of know what's happening in the world. And um, every single time you complete a survey you get 10 US dollars or 10 pounds um, voucher that you can donate to JDRF, you know, they work with loads and loads of charities, or you can just get a Starbucks voucher and that kind of stuff. So if you want to register, you can get an affiliated link down below. Also, I am doing a Q&A about all closed loop systems in February. I'm actually so, so excited. I haven't done a Q&A in such a long time. So any questions about closed loop systems that are either currently commercially available, so Metronic 670G, um, Control IQ or Diber Loop, um, or commercially in development, so Omnibot Horizon, Tide Pull Loop, Metronic 780G, Metronic 890G, Cambridge APS, Cam APS, uh, I led Bigfoot Biomedical, or the DIY system, so Loop, Open APS, or Android APS. Any questions you have about any of these, let me know in the comments, or just email me or message me on Instagram. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. And um, that is it for your uh, January's Day Media Technology Report. Thanks so much for watching. My Omnipod wall is going well, as you can probably see. Um, and I see you in my uh, Q&A. Bye.